And right now, wrestling at 149 and a half pounds, Townsend Saunders. 25-year-old out of Tempe, Arizona, and he will be going against one of the greatest wrestlers in the world, Arsen Fatsayev. Fatsayev, a seven-time world champion for the unified team. He's lost a couple of international matches, one to Kenny Monday when he moved up to 163 pounds. Also was an Olympic champion for the unified team in 1988. Townsend Saunders, not expecting to wrestle this man right now. What changed it was the Swiss wrestler broke his arm in the last match against Fatsayev, and it really changed the pairing. Saunders was due for a, for a bye, but this changed it, and right now he is wrestling the unified team, Arsene Fatsayev. Fatsayev does not waste any time getting in, scoring the first point. The coaches working with Saunders told him, do not let Fitsayev control your right hand. And Fitsayev, using his left hand, grabbed Saunders' right wrist, controlled it, started his motion off of that tie, scored the first point. It was a point that the coaches warned Saunders about, worked with him. They said, you'll be shooting to your right leg, which he did. He said, don't stand still and tie, which Saunders is doing right now. And he said, don't give up that left wrist tie. And there again, Fitsayev able to do it. Saunders liking that arm throw. That's the shoulder throw that really has given him another move in his repertoire. And again, you see Fitsayev left hand grabbing Saunders' wrist. And when he does it from over the top, that's when he's most effective. There he has it again. There he has it again. When Saunders pulls his wrist back, watch Fitsayev follow him right in. Townsend Saunders wrestled for Torrance, California High School. Competed for both Arizona State and Cal State Bakersfield in college. Front second headlocked. in the NC2A championships in 89 and third in 1990. And he's going for a lace leg here. That was a front headlock. He set it up with that underhook. The more you lift the underhook, the more weight Saunders put down towards the mat to keep from being uh, exposed his whole side. And Fitzayev just changed directions. Direction snapped him down. The United States trailing two to nothing. Unified team member really is Russ a stud extraordinaire. Nobody is like him. But he's freestyle. Got a, but he's got a battle on his hands right now. This is a test, a real measure here for. Townsend Saunders to be wrestling against uh, a man of the caliber of Arsene Fatsayev. There isn't anybody better in the world right now competing. More successful, I guess you could match up John Smith of USA, who's won five in a row, and make the comparison. Well, Same there was rumors, of, just like Fatsayev moved up to take on Monday, another nice single leg. He'll come up with this. There's a nice finish. That's a point. And you see how quickly they finish. They don't bring it up and wait around. They bring it up, and it's one motion. And as that leg comes up into the air, he reads the balance. Did a nice little foot sweep to take out Saunders' left leg. Knocks Saunders down to the mat, covers him. That's a point. And Arsene Fatsayev, a smooth technician for the unified team. Great technician. There was talk that Smith might come up and wrestle Fatsayev. And, boy, that would be a battle. It Two did. of the most successful wrestlers over the last five, six years going at it. Won't happen here at the games. Smith is a 136 and a half pounder. Fatsayev at 149 and a half. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Arsen Fatsayev ahead of Townsend Saunders. Three to nothing. Double elimination. This doesn't necessarily spell the end of competition if you lose, but this could make a difference. Uh, I would anticipate perhaps this could be the match to decide who will be going for the gold medal and who will be going the, for the bronze. No seating and it can happen any time. And what Saunders needs to do here is get on the board. If he is shut out, that is going to hurt him. He'll pick up no positive points for the performance. And you can believe that Arsene Fatsayev is aware of that. Oh, sure he is. There used to be a time where the American coaches felt that the Eastern Bloc countries would throw matches deliberately to keep the United States from scoring. That takedown, making the score four to nothing, and Fitsayev looking to try and trap an arm, maybe go for a gut wrench. But Saunders right now being outmatched on his feet. Fitsayev controlling the tie, Fitsayev getting off first. 
And except for an attempted arm throw, Saunders has been quiet on offense. Four to nothing for Arsene Fatsayev of the unified team. One minute and three seconds to go. Well, you talked about Saunders not having to wrestle Fatsayev this early because the Swiss wrestler dislocated his elbow. That forces the officials, the pairing masters, to redraw the pool, and they put Fatsayev right away against Saunders and had a chance to talk with Saunders before the match, and he said, didn't matter. He had to wrestle him anyway. He knew that. Didn't care if he even was pooled with Fitzayev. Said he just went up, drew a number, and walked right away. Well, they're going to give a point and a caution against uh, Saunders, but it's not confirmed. Three officials. The French referee makes the call, but it's not confirmed. It's still four to nothing with 25 seconds to go. Well, Saunders, even when he drops to a knee and reaches, can't even get close to Fitzayev's legs. He needs to snap Fitzayev down. There's that control again. Fitzayev doing a nice job of reaching down and grabbing Saunders' right wrist. And a nice duck under. That'll get him a takedown. He's on the board, Russ. That's a big point. He's still in this. No, he's not in this match. The match is going to end. But, I mean, he's still in the race for a bronze medal. He continues to win. In he needs games. to take second in this pool if he continues to win. And so the winner, seven-time world champion, Arsene Fatsayev, will beat Townsend Saunders of the USA at 149 and a half pounds. The final score, four to one. And Fatsayev. After a takedown, goes to look for some back exposure points. Moves up the body. 